What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. As you can tell from the title, I'm doing another really nice and easy uh, vegan meal today. And again, this is just one of those things that goes to show you just how easy it is to take your favorite foods from a non-vegan form and veganize them. So today we're doing clubhouses and Jamie's going to be doing a chicken club. So we're going to be using the same President's Choice soy-free, gluten-free, vegan chicken breast um, that we've used in plenty of other videos previously. And I'm going to be using some light life stuff, both the uh, light life turkey slices and the bacon, uh, and then some tofu bacon's going on Jamie's Club as well. But yeah, um, it's going to be super, super easy. We're also going to be using the Earth Island, which is Follow Your Heart. It's just branded differently here in Canada. We're going to be using those cheese slices. So, Again, club sandwiches, I mean, this is one of these like diner staple foods. And when I worked in this um, cafeteria in a factory that I worked at probably like, you know, over 10 years ago now for sure. Yeah, it's been quite a while. Uh, this was my go-to, you know, I could, I, we could eat meals there for free. So I'd have like a clubhouse and a poutine and all that kind of stuff, probably pretty much every shift. And then of course, uh, anybody who works or lives in Canada probably remembers Zellers. That was one of the department stores here. They all went out of business, I don't know, like again, probably almost 10 years ago. But uh, the Zellers Diner, the restaurant that was in most, if not all, Zellers stores, I worked in that as well, as did Jamie at one point. And uh, you know, of course they had a nice clubhouse as well. So really, again, it's just another example of how you can take something non-vegan, like I said, and use the products that are out there on the market right now that are comparable in price, uh, comparable in taste and in texture, and even though they're not health foods, are healthier for you than the meat alternative, the animal-based alternative. And of course, you're obviously saving animal lives as well. So from an ethics standpoint, an environmental standpoint, it's a win-win. Um, but it's also just really great. So let's get to it. Okay, so here's the light life bacon. Again, this is what I'm going to be having on mine. So, I mean, you get a pretty good stack here. I don't know. It's probably like 12 slices at least. And um, it's going to be way less fat and a lot less salt and other crap than the regular stuff. But uh, this is going to... It's gonna fry up really nicely. I'm just gonna fry like four pieces for myself. Use that for my sandwich. But let's just take a look at this here for a second. Um, so some of the some of the key takeaways for the nutrition facts here. So for three strips, you've only got three grams of fat. I don't even know and want to know how many grams of fat are in three strips of of bacon that comes from a pig. Um, Sodium, yeah, it's a little high. That's, you know, that's to be expected. But you've got some other goodies in there. You get seven grams of protein in those three strips. So you know what? Not bad at all. I'm just gonna sizzle. <laughs> I read the word sizzle right here. I'm just going to saute, just kind of fry these, um, these in a pan. You could do these in an oven, but I'm just barely kind of heating them up. They're already cooked, essentially. So it's just a matter of browning. So as mentioned, Jamie's having this um, plant-based chicken breast on hers. And so that's just oven baked. I don't have the best knife, but I'm just going to slice that for her sandwich. And honestly, I mean, this stuff is absolutely incredible. Let's just look at the texture here. Trust me, this is amazing. 
it works so well. It's very versatile. It can go on just about anything. So it's going to be a great, uh, great sandwich chicken for a club. Yes, it's going to make a great chicken club is what I'm trying to say. Okay, and so for bread, Jamie's using this gluten-free vegan bread. Um, I'm not sure how popular this brand is, but it's called Little Northern Bakehouse. Um, so anyway, I'll show you that in a second. Um, and I am using one of my go-tos, Silver Hills. I don't worry about gluten, it doesn't bother me, so uh, I like Silver Hills bread, Ezekiel bread. I don't need a lot of bread unless like Jamie makes homemade stuff, but this is one of my favorites if I'm gonna buy a store-bought, so that's what I'll be using. Okay, so here's the Silver Hill stuff. It's a nice hearty bread for sure. And um, there's that gluten-free stuff that Jamie uses. It's thinner, it's a smaller slice. A little bit stuck together only because it was frozen, but it's still pretty good. Like it's not um, gritty or like some gluten-free stuff I don't really like, but this stuff is actually pretty good, I gotta say. Okay, and so looking at the Light Life uh, veggie turkey, this stuff is also really good. And like the bacon, you know, it's pretty low fat. I mean, for four slices, you're only looking at three and a half grams of fat. Of course, all this stuff is cholesterol free because that only comes from animals. And, um, you know, again, some sodium and stuff like that, but you've got some additives. So between this and the bacon, you've got half of your vitamin B12 for the day, or over half, actually, more like uh, 70%. And yeah, I mean, you've got some other stuff in there. It's not bad. And again, it tastes great. Honestly, like from what I can remember, I haven't eaten meat in, I don't know, seven years or so, but it tastes just like a deli meat. I mean, why not get this when it's, this was like four bucks for a pack and I'll take it out here so you can see, but you know, we're talking four, bu four bucks for a pack of turkey that's like, I don't know, can you get that same amount for the same amount of the same price of regular stuff? I'm not sure, but in any case, this stuff's legit, so that's what I'm gonna have on mine. And uh, it's just about done here, so I'll start putting it together momentarily. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is just take the middle piece of bread. And put some vegan margarine on that. So this is Jamie's again, she's getting the chicken. So I'll move this out of the way. And we're gonna put some mayo on the other two pieces. So we just use the um, vegan basil, and then whatever vegan mayo is handy. I mean, the Hellman's is fine. Uh, it's actually really good. It's indistinguishable from regular mayo, to be quite honest. But you can use other brands. You could use like Veganase or Veganase or whatever they pronounce it. There's all kinds of options for you. Um, President's Choice, the same brand that has this Vegan chicken breast also has a plant-based mayo that you could use. Lots of options. All right, so I'm just gonna stack this together, plate it up, show you what it looks like. Okay, so there you have it. Here is the turkey bacon club with some fries and Jamie's chicken bacon club. Hers admittedly doesn't look as good, probably because the gluten-free bread just doesn't hold together as well. But these are gonna make a very delicious meal. So we're gonna get to it. Again, just using a couple of products like some, uh, some Light Life uh, substitutes for meat products, and you can make pretty epic vegan versions of all your favorites. So I hope you like this. Let me know if you've had a vegan clubhouse, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.